What's up guys? So before I get this review going, just a huge shout out to Che Dizzle, Elf on the Shelf 7, and Ghost Killers 144 for helping me speed up this review. So here we go. NFL move is Bruce Irvin 99 overall dual style man defense run stuff style. 6 foot 3, 99 speed, 84 strength, 94 play rec, 99 hit power, 103 pursuit, 102 tackle, 99 excel, and 97 block shit. Also has a 102 power move, an 83 catch, and a 91 zone, and I believe an 84 or 82 man. But anyways, also want to put out a disclaimer that he is a 4-3 linebacker, but I do run a 3-4 defense. So I know there's you know debate going on whether or not that matters, but you know what? I just want to put that out there because I know that some people do... Um, take that into consideration so anyways the first thing I wanted to test out of course was his zone defense and as you can see here he was solid at it not like perfect or anything but he something that I did notice was most linebackers would try to knock the ball out you know with their hands he loved to just smack people you know smack the ball out of their hands so that's always good to see from the linebackers very aggressive so in terms of just zone defense you know what I saw very solid now he does have 99 speed so of course he's going to be an amazing user linebacker and I know that Anthony Barr has had that title for so long but trust me Irvin definitely gave him a run for his money so as far as who's better I honestly say it's just a toss up you know between those two is an absolute toss up. Now as far as hit sticks go I believe I got like 15 which just might be a record of how many hit sticks a linebacker has gone for me in a review but anyways I got like 15 hit sticks unfortunately only got one fumble but you know what you know I've reviewed so many linebackers and safeties who've got a bunch of hit sticks and they've gone like zero fumbles so I guess you know one fumble I guess <laughs> is better than none now he did have a few bad plays as you can see here he did miss a few tackles um, you know I believe on one of these plays he did actually get stiff armed which is yeah right here with uh, DeMarco Murray to get a nasty stiff arm and I believe on the next one he gets trucked I can't recall who this is yeah right there I can't recall who that was but he did get a nasty little truck there and like I was saying earlier with his own defense he was not perfect he was just solid and this this is what I'm talking about sometimes being over aggressive as you can see you're trying to over pursue and you know sometimes it, it did uh, bite him in the ass so when it comes to his zone and tackling believe me he will have his bad moments so definitely keep that in mind when it comes to uh, Bruce Irvin now pass rushing was very interesting. It was either going to be very good or very bad. Look at the running back right here. Look at the running back. Try to block Irvin. Doesn't stand a chance. As soon as they make contact, Irvin block sheds. And you would expect that, right? That, that's what you would expect. But look at this. Look at Darren Sproles. 35 pass block. Holds up Irvin like it's nothing. That's a 500,000 card again held up by a... Of 30,000 card. I couldn't believe that was happening, man. So, like I said, there was really no, there was no in between. It was either gonna be very good or very bad. Now, of course, he did get a few block shifts here and there, but it just was not consistent. Is what I'm saying. Right here, I'm blitzing from the outside spot. You know, was not consistent. The right tackle holding him up. Then I put my defensive end right here. The right guard grabs him, number 65, and holds him. And this was happening over and over as well. So, just in terms of pass rushing, it just was not consistent. I do believe his 84 strength played a part in that. And right here, in terms of uh, run support, if a tight end got a hold of him, he was not going anywhere, like Bennett, for example. But if a wide receiver tried to block him, he would have much more success at block shedding. So when it comes to pass rushing and block shedding, keep all this in mind with Irvin. Now, what he did best by far, which should not even be much of a surprise, was tackling, speed, pursuit, all mixed together, you know. And uh, like I was saying earlier about his uh, defensive end and pass rushing abilities I believe 84 strength does play into it you know but honestly it didn't even bother me because you know if you're a 99 speed linebacker I just need you to be a linebacker I don't need you to pass rush and all that I'll let my defensive ends do that that's what they're for but as you can see here man did not let anybody run past them or anything so in terms of just being a pure linebacker or pure outside linebacker he definitely did his part anyways guys that's gonna wrap up this review my final thoughts do I think he's worth 400,000 I feel like maybe he's worth 300000 and I'm pretty sure his price would just keep dropping. And he, I definitely feel he is absolutely a top 5 outside linebacker. Now, on paper, as you can see here, he destroys Brooks at pretty much everything. But from what I recall, on the field, they're not that much different. Irving is a bit faster. That's really about it from what I recall. You know, so anyways, as far as the strength thing goes, I did check out all the other big-time defensive ends like Boss Taylor, J.J. Watt, you know, um, that new... Uh, Wilkerson so on and so forth they all have like 97 99 100 strength so maybe that's why they're better pass rushers but anyways guys I know some of you guys might not agree with everything I said in this review but this is just my personal experience for 
in the way that I use them at least. So anyways guys, that's my episode. I'll see you boys for the next review. Peace.